still copy pasting Facebook ads data into spreadsheets every week, or downloading CSV files, or paying hundreds of dollars for a connector that just runs a simple API call in AppScript, or waiting for data engineer to help you collect the data. Whether you are a data analyst, a performance marketer, part of a marketing or a data agency, or just one person in your team responsible for making sense of data, this is for you. In this video, I'll show you how you can pull Facebook Ads data directly into Google Sheets for free at your own schedule, without coding, if you don't want to, but in any case, without Python. You'll get exactly the data you need with a flexible schema that includes every field available in the Facebook Ads API. And without sharing your credentials with any third-party SaaS tools using our forever free open-source connector from Avax. We're going to be publishing a lot more tutorials just like this one, probably hundreds of those by the end of this year, so make sure you do a few things. 1. Subscribe to this Avax YouTube channel and enable notifications so you don't miss any of the next connector tutorials right here. Two. Give us a star and watch us on GitHub so we can see that we are doing valuable things for you. And number three, please like or dislike this video. This would help more solo analysts and more businesses fix their connectivity issues with a free tool created specifically for them. Now, you may reasonably ask, hey, why are you doing this for free when there are so many SaaS companies available out there charging for it? Look, we're building the Avax Data Marts platform and this specific connector for Facebook ads to Google Sheets because, let's be honest, most tools out there either cost too much or scale unpredictably with the number of connectors, they break too often or give data analysts and marketers zero control over how and when the data is pulled. And at the end of the day, you end up stuck in tools you don't trust, exporting CSVs every Monday from every data source, or wasting time trying to make someone else's dashboard work for your team. So, we build something different. With Avox Data Marts and our free Facebook Ads to Google Sheets connector, everything runs inside your Google Sheet. Your credentials never leave your document. Your data doesn't flow through some unknown platform. We have the connectors already available for all of the popular advertising platforms with the data destination of Google Sheets and Google BigQuery for more advanced use cases, and we're growing this number every single week. And more importantly, we're building in JavaScript, not Python, as most connectors for data engineers out there. So, if you ever want to customize something, you can do it with a language you already know, or at least the one that AI tools like ChatGPT are great at helping you with. So, with this connector, you stay in control, you own the data, and it's free, always, forever. With this being said, let me go to the demo. So, let's dive right into how to get your Facebook Ads data into Google Sheets step by step. So, step one, you need the template. Go to our GitHub and the Facebook marketing template and create a copy by selecting File, Make a Copy. That way, it's saved to your own Google Drive and fully editable. It's fully free from marketing things like email collections, so you can just go and do that on GitHub. But if you also want the instructions to be sent by email, you can download the, the same template using the link below in the description to this video. I'll ask for your email just to send the instructions, and I promise not to sell you anything. Great, you've copied the document. We need to configure the template. So go to the config sheet, set the start date for your import, I'll put January the 1st, 2025. Then we need to select the end date. It's not necessary, but I will add the end of January here. Then add your Facebook Ads account ID. You can find it in your Meta Ads Manager. It's right there in the URL when you open an ad account. If you want to pull data from multiple accounts into the same spreadsheets, 
You are good to go, just separate them with commas. Then, there are a few of the optional fields for you, like Create columns for missing data. This is necessary when you change the schema between the imports. You can also select the destination spreadsheet. By default, data will be imported into the current Google Sheet document on the new or existing tabs. Max fetching days is important when you re-import a lot of data. Next, re-import lookback window. You probably know that Facebook Ads changes the data for the last few days from time to time, so I recommend keeping this at two days. And finally, clean up to keep window. This is the number of days from the current date beyond which rows with all the dates will be automatically removed from the sheet. I'll leave it blank so as not to delete any row. As you can see, we've taken care of the most of the necessary setup things, but you are free to edit the app script and customize this connector for yourself if you want to. Let's select the data fields you want to import. Go to the Fields sheet and check the boxes for the metrics and dimensions you care about. Things like campaign name, impressions, spend, clicks, etc. Whatever you want. We have over 600 fields available in this template. They are all segmented by, so to say, the folder. So each of those sections go to a separate sheet while importing or a separate table in BigQuery if you use our Facebook Ads to BigQuery connector. Only the selected fields will be imported, but it's totally customizable afterwards as well. And in case we are missing any of the fields from the API, you can add more of those here. Just use the same structure. And if you do so, please don't forget to send us a pull request on GitHub so others can use the results of your work. Now, it's time to authorize the connector to access your Facebook Ads data. You'll only need to do this once. Go to developers.facebook.com and log in using your Facebook account, the one that has access to your ad account and business manager. In the top right corner, click My Apps, then Create App. Give your app any name and add your email address. Click Next and complete this app creation. For the app type AK use case, scroll all the way down and choose Other. Click Next. Then select the business type, check all the details and click Create App. Once your app is created, select the Marketing API card and click Setup. In the left-hand menu, click Tools, then you need the section Get Access Token. Select the following permissions – Ads Read and Read Insights. Then click Get Token to actually generate the access token. In your copied Google Sheet template, click AUX Manage Credentials, then paste your access token here and click OK. Look, we are not storing this on our end. It's your document, we don't have access to it. Or to your local app script. It's 100% yours. Once credentials are saved, just go to Avox, import new data. You'll see a progress log. You need to wait for, let's say, from a few seconds to a few minutes, and when it says import finished, your Facebook Ads data will be in your spreadsheet. That's it. Your data is now flowing. And you will see the number of sheets here in the document based on your selected schema. All right, your data flowing into Google Sheets. What's now? You can do pretty much anything with it. Want to build a pivot table? Just go ahead and do it. Want to stay in Google Sheets and connect the dots between different sheets? You can use the VLOOKUP function right here and do it. Want to build a full dashboard? You can use our AUX Reports extension for Google Sheets to instantly create pivot tables and charts. It's free and it works directly in Google Sheets. Just select the sheet, select the fields you'd like to use, wait a few seconds and boom, your dashboard is ready. And it's going to be updated when you need this. Want to connect this data to Looker Studio? 
Just connect this sheet as a data source to Looper Studio and you are ready to go. And by the way, we are working on a self-hosted version, not JS1, for OVAX data marts, including this connect. So, you'll be able to connect Looker Studio right when setting this import up. And you will have it available shortly, most likely in July 2025. Want to combine Facebook ads data with other data sources? We already have connectors for TikTok ads, LinkedIn ads, Twitter, open exchange rates, and we are adding new ones every week, so Bing ads, the Microsoft, Criteo, Reddit, they, those are going to be available really soon. Plus, we are going after other platforms like Shopify. If you want to help us create those connectors faster, just check our contributors guide on GitHub and we appreciate your help. Want to create blended ROS dashboard across all your ad platforms? You can do that right inside Google Sheets when you connect more of the advertising platform data. Need currency conversion to make sense of multi-currency accounts? Set up open exchange rate connector with all of the currency rates for every day. It's already available and I'll link all of those templates in the description to this video. Basically, the data is yours, the connector is yours, the logic is yours, the dashboards are all yours and you are in control. And if you need help or want to request a new connector, just open a discussion or an issue on our GitHub, OVAX Data Mart, and let's build it together. So, what is next? First, grab the free connector on GitHub. The link is in the description. Second, give it a star on GitHub. It helps us know this is useful and motivates us to keep building it. Third, if you hit any issues or want to request a new connector, head to the Discussions or Issues tab on GitHub. Our team checks those every day. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and enable notifications so you don't miss the next tutorials for our free connectors and the orchestration platform release. We call it Aux Data Marts Community Edition. And yes, it's going to be free as well. And finally, if you are feeling ambitious and want to create your own connector, check out our contributor guide. We'll feature your work, give you a backlink, showcase your story if you want, and we'll help you promote it. That's it. No vendor lock, no paywalls, just you, your spreadsheet, and full control over the data connectivity. Thanks for watching, and if this saved you time or money, just let me know in the comments below. I'm Yevgen from Ovox, and I've got more tutorials coming soon, so stay data curious and, as always, happy analyzing!